Every major medical journal is now reporting on the importance of sugar. And so everything from science magazine to medical school textbooks to the international journals of immunology. And it is a global phenomenon. This is a magazine from Japan with a cover story on these sugars. Next. Here's one called Chemistry Magazine from Australia, also featuring a cover story on sugars. Next. And another medical journal from the United Kingdom, once again featuring the benefits of sugars. And there are two bullet points from this article that I want to read. So it said, this article entitled Glyconutritionals Implications in Rheumatoid Arthritis. So the article said that in summary, the above information clearly suggests the involvement of sugars and rheumatoid arthritis as well as a potential therapeutic benefit. Next. And so what do scientists around the world predict about sugars? What they say is that sugars are going to be the future. According to this doctor, we won't understand immunology, neurology, development of biology or disease until we understand sugars. And so the discoveries of sugars, in my opinion, is going to truly impact healthcare like nothing has in the last 50 years. And we have taken this technology into the marketplace through the business model of network marketing. And the reason that we use network marketing is because we had to find a distribution model that had an educational component attached. Because you can never educate the, the population through retail. Now the major benefit of sugars is the health benefit it brings people. And the best way to share those benefits is one person's experience being shared with another. And here's what we know. We know that there are literally tens of millions of people who are struggling to live a good quality of life. They have no hope with current therapy to enjoy quality of life. And those people are desperately looking for this. And so we found that network marketing creates an incredible avenue for sharing the experience of glyconutrients with others. So Manatech has pioneered the entire science of sugars through dietary supplementation. But we believe that there's scientific advancement coming in other areas. I shared with some of you over the last few days that there is new science in the world of vitamins and minerals. New processing techniques that have been patented that bring vitamins and minerals in a more food form that is more usable to the human body. And Manatech has recently licensed this new technology and has now filed patents on new compositions of vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals. And, and this technology will be available early next year. The next thing that we looked at is healthy skincare products. And sometimes people say, what does skincare have to do with wellness? Well, first of all, you need to understand that skin is the largest organ on the human body. More toxins are absorbed through your skin than through your mouth. So what you put on your skin has a major impact on long-term health. Now, everybody wants to use skincare so that they can look better. But unfortunately, you have to protect skincare products because skincare products are a breeding ground for fungus and bacteria. And every time you touch your skincare product, you potentially invade it with new bacteria. And so all skincare systems have to use what are called preservatives. And preservatives are chemicals that kill bacteria and kill fungus. Unfortunately, they also accelerate the aging of the human skin. So here are all these products that are promoting anti-aging filled with preservatives that promote pro-aging. Now, about 10 years ago, the skincare industry shifted from just synthetic preservatives to what are called all-natural preservatives. And the implication is that this was much healthier because all-natural seems like it would be good for you. 
But unfortunately, natural preservatives are just as toxic to the human skin. And so the most recent scientific breakthrough in skin care came out of Japan. A scientist discovered that he could change the structure of the water molecule. And so that is how water normally looks. Oh, and, when, and when he changes it, it changes the structure to that. And he found there were two benefits to that. The first benefit is that it increased the hydration of skin cells. In other words, you could get more moisture into the skin than ever before. And it is the moisture in the skin cell that protects it from premature aging. So if that's all that this water ever did, it would be a true bonus in a skincare suit. But they found one more very significant benefit, and that is that this enhanced water was bacterial static. And what that means is that fungus or bacteria cannot grow in this water. And so what that means is that you can develop an entire line of water-based skincare products without using preservatives. So we developed a line of skincare using this unique water product, and we tested it. The first thing that it showed is that there was an 80% increase in skin hydration after one use. And then after eight weeks of research, we found that we got 100% improvement in skin moisture, 96% reduction in skin roughness, and additional improvements in quality of skin. So this is truly one of the most unique and efficacious skincare systems on the market. And we will be rolling this skincare system out in the rest of the world after the first of the year. My wife has been using it for almost six months now. And she would kill me if I didn't bring more back. That's why I'm in Taiwan. Okay, this, this is where the industry is headed. Today, the wellness industry is about a $50 billion industry worldwide. There are about 4,000 companies that participate with product, but only 200 of those companies do about 50% of the total business, which on an average would be like $100 million a year. And since we do about $400 million a year, we're obviously a major player in that industry today. But here's where economists say that the industry is heading. They said that by 2015, that this industry will grow to one trillion U.S. dollars a year. One trillion dollars is about the size, uh, about half the size of our current global healthcare industry. So this is enormous. They predict that in 10 years there will only be 2,000 companies participating because new science will eliminate all of the participants that don't use science in the production of their product. And consumers will become more educated over the next 10 years and will only buy products that they know have value. But here's the most amazing prediction. Economists predict that only 20 companies will own 80% of that business. And so the question is, where will Manatech participate? Again, according to economists, those 20 companies will be the companies that bring the best technologies, the most efficacious, unique technologies, and have the best marketing models to bring new technology into the marketplace. And I don't think there is anyone else in the nutrition business that is making the advancements in science that Manatech is. When you And so I think the future of Manitech is extremely bright. And the reason it is so bright is because there is such a tremendous need in the marketplace. And we truly provide the best answers. And uh, I'm just gonna close with uh, my closing statement about Manitech. I personally believe, as Jolene was saying, that Manitech is much bigger than just a technology company. It is bigger than just a great business opportunity. And we do extremely well at both of those. Just last week, Forbes magazine, one of the top um, business magazines in the United States, ranked Manitech as the fifth best small company in America. Which again means that we are starting to get recognition 
for the inroads that we are making into this marketplace. But again, our true opportunity expands beyond that. And it's because we have technology that can make a difference in the world, not just in the countries that we operate in, but as Jolene said, in countries around the world that will never be exposed to our business model. And what is exciting is that the culture within Manitech believes that. It is not just my heart. It is not just Jolene heart. It is the heart of every Manitech associate to want to be a part of something that is bigger than ourselves. And I'd like to share a personal story of how this came about. I know that I've shared this with many of you this week, but for those of you that weren't here, I'd like to do it one more time. My wife and I have adopted all of our children. And so we have been supporting orphanages around the world for years and years. And about seven years ago, an orphanage organization from Romania came to visit us in the United States. And they shared with us the benefits of the financial gifting that we had provided. But then they told us a very sad story. They said that most of the kids in their orphanages were sick and that 30 to 40 kids a year were dying because they had no health care. And so they were asking, could we help them in any way? And after looking at all the data that you've looked at tonight, I realized that we had a gift that could make a difference in those children's lives. And so I sent enough product for one year for all those orphans. And at the end of the year, the good parts come. At the end of the year, the doctors reported back to us. And they said the incidence of disease had almost dropped completely. And more importantly, not one child died for the first time in over 10 years. Now you can die. You know, I've got to tell you, I have been compensated in business every way imaginable. I have earned a salary. I have been given stock options. Uh, I've received bonuses. But nothing has ever made a bigger impact on me than knowing that we saved the lives of 30 to 40 kids. And we realized that the discovery of glyconutrients was much more than a tremendous business. The ownership of that comes with the responsibility to make a difference in the world. And so we started an organization which is a non-profit entity called Manor Relief. And with the help of, help of our associate base, we started raising funds, linking up with orphanages around the world, and expanding the work that we've done in Romania to countries all over the world. And in particular, we're dealing with orphanages that are struggling with real life issues like AIDS and tuberculosis and malaria. And through Manor Relief, we are building a big reputation in continents like Africa because of the work that we're doing with children with AIDS. None of us profit financially from this work, but it means everything to us to be doing it. And so last year, I was contacted by a major TV producer. It is, uh, they're putting together a program called The Eighth Wonder of the World. And the idea of this group is to put on major concerts in major cities around the world over the next five years. And what they want to do is make the world aware that there is a major AIDS problem that is occurring. In Africa, they're going to lose six million children unless something is done. And so they want to make sure that the world understands the significance of this problem. They also want to raise money for the organizations that they believe will make the biggest impact. And when it comes to children with AIDS, they believe that the use of glyconutrients through manna relief is the best strategy in the world. So in December, the very first concert will occur at the Great Wall of China, just north of Beijing. And this concert will be broadcast all over China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Korea, and Japan. All of you will be able to see it. And I have been invited to come to China to make a presentation on glyconutrients at that concert. And then over the next five years, we will be going to Rome, to Egypt, to South America, to New York City, to Moscow, to India, 
and putting these concerts on and telling the world the benefit of this technology. So I'll just leave you with this thought. In 10 to 15 years, the world will know the benefit of glyconutrient. But today, no one knows. It is the best kept secret in healthcare. But that is the opportunity that we have to share the benefits of this unique discovery with the hurting world. There is no higher purpose in life than to be able to impact other people's lives. And I feel totally blessed just to be a part of it. Shazam.